Cause it's time to talk about games. All right, guys, this is Bruce here. I am going to talk to you about, uh, I got my copy of Red Rising today and I got the deluxe version and this is a uh, first printing. And I'm gonna say that there's two things that I'm not real happy about with the deluxe version. And knowing what I know now, I would probably would have got just the standard version. I wanna share these things with you so that if you haven't purchased the game, you can make a decision. Um, there's two things I don't like. Number one, and I heard about one or two of these. I think I heard about them, but I didn't realize how pronounced they were. So in my opinion, first of all, I, just a little bit about me. I've had at one point over 300 games. I'm a board game organizer. I, I do a lot of board gaming and big groups. So the first thing is these colors look a lot alike. So, and I know why they're metal and they're not painted to give them a natural finish, but uh, like these bronze and gold, it's pretty hard to tell apart. And it's, I, I kind of knew that, but they're worse than, than I thought. These pink and these, uh, I just dropped one. Pink and purple, when you mix them together, they're not easy to tell apart. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's, it's worse than I thought. This green and this teal or whatever, when you put them together side by side, good luck. I almost feel sorry for, I mean, I've always uh, tried to have sympathy for the people who are colorblind. And now I feel like I'm, uh, in, I'm inaugurated into their group. So who will this not bother? First of all, if you have three players or less, you can, one player would pick one of these two colors, one player would pick one of these two, and one player would pick one of these two. So if you're only gonna play this as a two or three player game, it's never gonna bother you. So there's that. But the other problem is bothers me and it bothers me because the reason it bothers me is, is not the issue with the game is that evidently I'm the only one it bothers. When you close this game up, it has a, it has a plastic lid, right? Plastic cover. By the way, I, I think the, the differences between the standard version and the deluxe version are this. Number one, there's a metal sovereign token. There's that piece. Very cool. Actually, I like this. There's a metal Luna token in the deluxe version. Love it. I don't know if the die is special uh, to this version, but it's a really nice die. So if it comes with the standard version, that's great. The, the weight of these metal tubes is pretty awesome. Um, this is standard part of the game. I know there's some gold foil on some of these cards. That actually is pretty cool too. So, And this tray, the insert tray is, I believe, part of the deluxe version. Oh, also these card holders, which uh, I don't know how well they function. I, I've heard some things about those, but I've yet to actually try it out. This is the part that really bugs me the most. When you close this game up, the interior walls of this, this, uh, this insert, these shoulders, don't meet the plastic. And there's a big gap between them, which means when you turn it, when you stand the game on end, everything comes tumbling out. Now, I guess game manufacturers, they must think that we carry these games around like delicate pastries. And I guess this is my frustrating, this is what frustrates me, is that I guess 99.9% .9 of the gamers must do this. They must take the game off the shelf like a delicate pastry and set it on the table and play and then gently put it back on the shelf when it's done. So if you do that, this won't bother you. But guess what? If you store a game on end, God help you. I must be the only person who stores a game on end or puts it in a bag. They have to go upright in the bag so that I can take them to game day. I guess I'm just so frustrated because if this was a big enough problem, other people would have issue with it, but evidently not. Here's another game. Let's talk about game inserts and standing up. This one, Trekking the World. Now, this is only their second game, I think, but it has a beautiful insert. It suffers from a similar problem. It has this beautiful insert made by game trays, okay? And the lid doesn't click, which is not that great. But again, there's a gap between the interior walls or shoulders, whatever, and the lid. 
So all these pieces, I mean, you just, you, no matter how hard you press down, when you, when you set this game up right, all the little pieces come tumbling through there and, okay, this is what I'm trying to say. For me, and I guess I'm in the minority here, I would rather no tray at all or minimal, but this game wasn't cheap. This one right here, Trekking the World. Nor, and, and, and the fact that on the, the Red Rising, I, I paid extra for the Deluxe, which I like a lot of the components. But if you're gonna charge extra, then I think some of this basic stuff should be thought through. Uh, so Trekking the World, I would have rather just had a basic insert. If you're gonna give me a, a mass market game, I don't care what the insert's like, that's fine. Here's a game by Queen Games. They're not known for fancy inserts at all, and I'm fine with that. If I buy a Queen game, I pretty much know going in that I'm gonna have to bag all this stuff, and, oh, by the way, the Red Rising game came with a bunch of bags, but that's a hassle, putting bags and sealing them up. I mean, that's the whole point of an insert, right? Evidently not. So, Treasure Hunter didn't have a deluxe version that I know of, so, I'm okay with buying it as is. Let me show you some games that do have good inserts, okay? Here's a simple game by Yellow Games called Big Book of Madness, all right? It's got a simple insert, and guess what? I can stand the game on end. I can stand it on end, and then when I guess what? When I open it up, there'll be minimal shuffling inside. Is that so hard to ask? I guess it is. I, you know, I guess what's frustrating is that I'm the only one who has this issue. Everybody must think of their games as delicate cheesecakes that come out of the oven and get sent down and never rotated. Really? That, it just boggles my mind. All right, so here's a good example of an insert. Jamaica, a great insert. Um, here's a good one. This one, Euphoria. It's uh, by the same company, by the way, Stonemeyer. The game I, the copy I had, didn't come with an insert, but then I bought an insert from Game Trays, which is now included in the base game. So if you buy this game now, it comes with the Game Trays. Let me show you. Let me show you what a good insert's like. All right? See this piece? Guess what happens? When I turn it on in, we're fine. All right? On some of these little ones, they, they, there's a little bit of spillage, but the pieces are big enough so they mostly stay in. This is a good game. By the way, FYI, if you haven't played Euphoria, very underrated game. Love this game. So let's go back to Red Rising. No indictment whatsoever on the game. I don't even know how this game plays. I'm pretty sure I like it. I've watched enough reviews. It's in my wheelhouse of uh, kind of a, a medium to light game. I'm really looking forward to playing it. And I would just say that if either one of the two issues that I brought up bother you, then you might want to be better off with the standard game because otherwise, here's the sound you're going to get when you set it up right. Oh, that's the sound of 10,000 elves shedding their tears. Okay, because I'm going to show you what happens. <laughs> oh my God. There's no way to avoid this. It says you bag all this stuff. Look at this. What a mess. <laughs> okay, that's all I got, guys. Um, I'm actually looking forward to playing this game, Red Rising. And I hope that uh, if you haven't bought the game, I hope purchase the game, that it helps you decide which version to get. By the way, I will pay 25, 30 bucks for a good insert, uh, most likely for this game. It, it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. But I had to vent. I had to vent some frustrations. I'm looking forward to uh, everything this, this company does. I think they hit a little bit of a, a couple hiccups on, on the deluxe version, but uh, overall, I'm, I'm excited to play this game. And that's all I got. I'm Bruce, and I want you to play more games, y'all. I'm out.